Let's begin. So the first thing you're going to do is select quick start and not credentials. Okay. Then this pop-up will come up and I want you to select the first point uh, it's recommended. Click next. I don't want you to choose um, a template because this obviously limits your design. You can't, you know, add to it. This is what you get. Um, so I will select create a new design. I'm just going to call it Art Monster. Click next. Okay. Uh, you can go through the properties if you want to familiarize yourself with the design. I'm just going to say exit. Okay, so I want to design a portrait card. And how I'm going to do this is that I'm going to select the front side. As you can see, it's it's activated, okay? And then I want you to go to the top right and then change it to portrait. I'm going to select the back side and do the same. Then what I'm going to do is that I need to work with my layers here in order to design properly. So what I'll do is that if I click on it, it says you have to make the layer active. So when you design, you design layers on um, Instant ID. So you'll check the box and select it in order to, um, to use this layer to edit it on your on your card okay so you can see i'm still working with the front side then what i want to do is add a static graphic okay i then i'm gonna name this background okay and then browse for, for through it so sometimes it can be quite slow but it's not a problem um sorry it's from my clothes Okay, so I'm just going to size it accordingly. I obviously haven't made it into a rectangle, so it might not look as nice, but that's fine. You just need a basic design. So, yeah, I'm happy with the background. I'm now going to do the same for the back layer, for the back side of the card. So I'm going to select background and highlight the layer again. Then I'm going to add the static image so you can see. Then I'm going to enhance it. Okay. And then we'll go to background. Browse. And then. Just takes a couple of minutes to. Time and more to load. Okay, cool. So I've got my background on both, which is really nice. And now I can start designing the card properly, which is which is good. So uh, I want to go back into the layers and just show you that with this design that I have with the Express, you are limited to specific things that you can do. So you can see that the emboss or indent, you can't check that box, as well as the retransfer material because you probably don't have a retransfer card printer either but still you aren't able to access these two values um, and obviously this can be limiting if these are things that you're looking for you can however do lamination mag stripe and fluorescence which add another layer of security to your card so that is quite nice if that is not so limiting and um, if you select the color layer, you can add a barcode. And if you obviously select the black layer, you could potentially get the, the mag stripe. So you'd have to select the mag stripe and you can see that it's added to it already. So I don't want that, so I'm gonna take that away. But uh, yeah, so these are all little things that you can add to your card to make it more secure. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is put the logo on it. Okay, so I'm going to add it as a static graphic again. So I'm going to say logo. Okay, 
open it. Just takes a bit of time to load sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to center that. I'm going to do the same for the back layer. Remember to check it and then highlight the layer. Okay, so static graphic as well. Let's say logo. Sometimes you have to name it a different name because the software obviously wants to know that there's a different, like it's different. Okay, so I'm gonna make that a bit bigger. Try to make it the same as the other one. I mean, you could always copy and paste it, but just for just for this tutorial, I wanna make it easy for you to understand. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is add a photograph because um, I wanna make a photo ID card. So what I want you to do is go back into layers and make sure that the color is still on. Okay, so select photograph and you can see that the photograph will be variable. So you can just save photo. I just want to make sure that it's the same as my um, CSV that I want to download. So it's photograph. So make sure that the fields, if you're doing a CSV, are the same um, because you obviously want to create a repetition that everything that you do is the same um, whereas if it's on the CSV or on the card you don't want it to be differentiated it all needs to be um, yeah the same okay so then I want you to select the black layer and I want you to just select text okay then for text uh, you can see that I need name, position, and email address that are all variable data. Okay, so all of these are variable data, but we've already done the photograph. <laughs> the name, position, and email address are all going to be different. Okay, so I'm going to say name, and well, the sample data is also be name. Okay, you can then also change the appearance. I'm going to make it bold, and I'm going to make it 14. Okay, you can also make the width a bit more, so you can see that the width changes here. I'm going to make a 10, because my names are quite long. So I'm just going to copy this, so that it's the same for all the other ones. I'm going to say position. Okay. And then I'm going to say email address. Okay, so I just want to make sure that these are, you know, like aligned and they're also spaced evenly. So I'm going to say vertically. Oh, sorry, I don't want to do that space evenly. Okay, it's not really allowing me to do that, but I think I have space there recording me, which is quite nice. So, um, I think I'm done with the front of the card. I'm quite happy with that. You know, you can always mess around with it a little bit and design it how you'd like. Um, you can always, you know, go back to the color layer and change that a little bit so that it's all in good position. Okay. Cool. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to go to the back of the card and select it and I want to select black. Okay, so here I'm going to just do static text. I'm not going to make it different. I want it to all be this, like I want it to um, print as it is. Okay, I don't want to have any variable data here. So I'm just going to design it like this. And Keep on. I just want to put some contact information here. So, phone. Okay. And then we'll say website. Okay. 
Okay, and then I obviously need to make that, you know, a bit bigger so that it fits on. And then I'm going to make this email address. Okay, cool. I'll do the same. Then I'm going to make this all uniform. I just want to make this appearance bold. Okay, I think I have 14, so it's a bit bigger. Then I'm going to make all of these um, a line left and I want them to be spaced evenly and vertical. Okay, so you can see that it's all aligned uh, with spaces. So move it up a bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just selecting the shift button and selecting all of them. So yeah, you can you know play around with the appearance and everything, which is quite nice. Then I want to add a, a photograph with a QR code. Oh, sorry, not that one. Just a static graphic of the QR code. Okay. Oh, I must have just been QR code. Okay, so when someone obviously gets this card, they can scan the QR code and go directly to your website. So that's, that's the goal there. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the design. I just want you to go back into layers for both. So select the front, go into layers and then select top coat. Okay, so this top coat layer will protect your card from damage and from breaking and bending as well. And yeah, it just ensures the protection of the card once printed. It also improves the appearance of the card and prevents tampering and cloning of it. So I'll select the back and select top coat as well. Okay. Now you are done with the design of the card and you can click um, complete quick start. Okay. Uh, you can also just click save, but yeah, maybe click save and then say complete quick start.